So today, I'm going to share a review on the Firepaw Dog Treadmill. The first thing I would like to point out about ordering this treadmill is that if you order from their website, as I did, then be aware that although it has a shipping cost calculator based on the shipping address you put in, the company contacted me about a week after the order was placed to let me know that somewhere on their website there's some small print that says the shipping you've paid actually only covers freight to the airport. For door-to-door -door shipping, you have to add another $120 to the shipping cost. They told me I couldn't cancel the order because the production had already started. So, be aware of that. So, this is how the treadmill arrived. It was shipped from Hungary and Europe to the USA, and my first impression is that the packaging was surprisingly thin. The treadmill was pretty much just shrink-wrapped, then cello-taped onto a baseboard and covered with some bubble wrap and some cardboard. After taking the treadmill off the baseboard, I realized that the entire weight of the structure is supported by these little pieces of off-cut wood that are somehow screwed diagonally into the baseboard. It's quite strange that one side has two pieces and the other side only has one. One of these wood blocks was actually loose, as you can see the screw was sticking out. When we tried to set up the treadmill, we realized that the hinge plate on one of the front legs was bent. This could be due to the insufficient support during shipping. Upon contacting Firepaw, they said that although they do accept US orders, they do not provide a local warranty. So let's go on to the actual quality and function of the treadmill. Most of these treads use hardwood such as oak for durability and safety. They are also sufficiently varnished to protect the surface of the wood. I'm not sure what kind of wood Firepaw uses here, but by knocking on it you can tell the cuts of wood are quite irregular. It seems the thin water-based coating they used is not sealing the wood surface, and you can already tell there are chips on the surface of the wood. Now, these may be minor when the treadmill is brand new, but after prolonged usage, splinters will form without proper varnish, and eventually the slat may even break. This is quite dangerous because it may cause injury to your dog. Rolling through the tread, you can see the slat's spacing is quite irregular. The bearings on these Firepaw treadmills are not A-bed bearings, which are the best quality bearings used on these treadmills. And you can see the difference between good bearings when you check the dampening of the treadmill. The tread kind of stops suddenly because it runs stiff. Compared to the dampening of other treadmills that use A-bed bearings, pay attention to the end when the run stops and rebounces. I have opted to add a handbrake to the treadmill so as to make it easier to introduce my dogs to it. It would seem to make sense for the brake to be placed at the lower end of the treadmill where the dog is supposed to get on. But Firepaw had made the brake line too short for the lower end. That makes you hold the brake on the exit end. And here you can see how hard it is to get your dog to get on the treadmill at the correct side if you are holding the brake on the wrong end. In the next video, I will show you how I take this treadmill apart and make improvements.